Okay, in this chapter, we're going to take our skin file that we just created in a photo editor, we're going to bring it back in the game space, and we're going to actually start skinning this starfighter. Now, the first step is, of course, to load the image, and then we need to paint every part of our fighter with our skin. Now, of course, it doesn't look right just yet, because we have a flat planar projection applied to every part of this fighter that we set up a couple chapters ago when learning how to create the UV wireframes. So they're all already flat and they're all already looking pretty good. So I'm going to take each piece, open up the editor, and there's my wing. All I have to do at this point is shift click, scale it down, put it where it belongs, right about here. It's going to take a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of scaling. Again, I could do individual edges, faces, however I wanted to do it, but in this case, the whole thing is set up. We did a lot of, you know, planning ahead. We were thinking ahead when we created these wireframes and when we created this texture map. So there's not a lot of work to do here. I simply have to line it up where it goes, and it should look pretty good. Take this fin, for example. We'll do the same thing. Shift-click, scale it down, Put it where it belongs. A little too big still. Close the editor. And again, looks pretty good. I'll look at it from the other side. That mirrors pretty well because of the way we set up the UV projection because we did all that preparation. We made sure our texture mirrored on both sides and then it could mirror properly. So far, everything is looking pretty good. Let's take this fuselage now. And it looks to me like this fuselage is upside down. So there's two things I can do. I can either apply my planar UV projection again, and that looks really, really bad. So let's line it up. Open our editor. Uh, still looks pretty bad. Let's go to a top view, spin it around. And this looks to be how we're going to want it to line up with that texture. Let's make sure we're precise. Scale it down. Put it where it goes. And you'll notice in this case, when I created that texture, I actually tried to get all those little seams, the little dirt maps and edges, to line up where they would actually go on the wireframe. So when I actually render this, my dirt maps and things line up perfectly. Now after I've done this to every piece, I'll glue the whole thing together, just like we did a couple chapters ago. We'll mirror this over to the other side. I can glue my whole fighter together at that point, all the pieces, and it should, when I'm done, look something like this. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Now there's a couple things I'd like to show you real fast, such as this bottom fin here. You'll notice this fin is sharing this portion of the texture map that we used to do our top fin. What I did was I simply flipped the UV projection, actually did it right here within the editor, just spun it around using the tools and moved it up here to share this section of the texture along with that top fin. That was an optimization that I did in order to save space instead of creating a whole separate area on this skin just for that fin. Also, there are times, such as with this fuselage section, along the edges it is possible that my texture is stretching a bit. Since we did a flat UV projection across the whole thing, obviously the sides where it was kind of straight on to the flat projection, the texture is going to stretch itself out and look kind of funny if we were looking at it very closely. A sit and you can see kind of the stretching along there. A simple solution to this would be to take those edges individually, holding control and selecting them all, we could hit planar UV projection on them, and we could take them individually, 
separate the individual pieces and put them somewhere that would make sense. Maybe even line them up along a seam, depending on how crazy accurate we want it to be, and depending on how close the player would ever be seeing this portion of our model, we should try and be as accurate as possible to line up the seams along the edges so that they line up with the rest of those dirt maps and things. We'll go over this a little bit more in the last chapters, in the uh, chapter 5 when we get to the advanced modeling techniques. In those courses, I'll go over some more techniques like that to avoid texture stretching and to make sure that no matter what angle or how close the player sees this model, it still looks pretty good. But an advantage of doing that flat planar projection on something like the wing where there are edges is that the seams we have for things like flaps, you'll notice they wrap perfectly around the edge of the wing to line up with the bottom of the wing and there's never a break in that seam. In that case, the effect is very, very good looking, very good effect. Uh, there is some stretching in the texture, but it's not really noticeable, and the gain we get from showing that seam line up perfectly around the wing kind of offsets it a bit. Again, I think this is a pretty good looking model. A, one little 512 by 512 skin being optimized and utilized well with a new UV editor creates a pretty good looking little fighter.